Brawlers, baby. What's up, boxing fans? It's your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media in the building. This is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Just wanted to close out and update with you guys from last night's fights. Uh, James Kirkland. Uh, it's time to hang up the gloves and walk away from the sport of boxing. I know he loves it. It's hard for these guys to do, every one of them. Uh, the passion and the love that they have for something that's really been good to them and their families. But now it is time to walk away. James Kirkland took a beating last night. It didn't last long. It took uh, two minutes and 45 seconds in the first round KO by Juan Macias Montiel. In my opinion, he, what, 25 and four, 22 knockouts, a journeyman versus, you know, hey, James Kirkland's, what, 34 and three uh, with 30 knockouts, something like that. I mean, hey, well-known, prominent uh, fighter back in the day in the middleweight division when he was trained by the tutelage of... Uh, uh, female world champion, y'all know the great Ann Wolf. When she had him under her, uh, Ann did great things with James, and she brought the best out in him with her training regimen and her skill set and, and tactics that she taught uh, to James, which made him dangerous and a force to be reckoned every time he stepped into that square. Things kind of went south once he changed trainers up and got rid of Ann Wolf. That's how it always happens. But nonetheless, hey, congrats to uh, Team Montiel. Uh, I'm sure uh, he's looking for uh, a big payday and possibly get another another big fight. I don't think he'll get a title shot right away or anything like that, but I, I'm sure he'll get another big payday from uh, putting the, the likes of uh, James Kirkland on his resume from last night's first round KO. Impressive, but not the same James Kirkland we used to. This is a, a James Kirkland that's on the way out, and I felt like last night was his finale, his retirement fight. Uh, if you will. So uh, thank you for all the great fights and the great years, uh, James Kirkland, that you put in. Thanks and congratulations to Team Montiel uh, for a great performance last night. We look forward to seeing you in 2021. Hey, I look forward to delivering you guys the best and most exciting boxing content uh, that I hope I've done for you in 2020 based on this being one of the worst years ever that we've all witnessed with the pandemic and the coronavirus and media folks aren't able to attend the events live where I can get you those locker room interviews and those weigh-in pushing and shoving contests. Uh, but it's okay. I think I did a pretty good job delivering you uh, information and content as I received it that it kept you guys in the know. When I knew, you knew. So I look forward to serving you that again in 2021. We're going to start the year off with a great fight January 2nd, 2021. Young Blazing Gun, up and coming superstar Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell. In my opinion, I'm going to roll with another young gun uh, as Tiafimo uh, beat Loma. I'm going to go with Ryan Garcia by way of KO to Luke Campbell. I think he's going to He's going to impress and shock the boxing world, his his abilities and his capabilities when he steps into that ring on the second. I think he's going to really show up and show out and make people go, whoa, he made that look like some easy work against Luke Campbell. We shall see. Once again, it's your boy Rick Muhammad for all the sports media in the building. This is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, by all means, please go and do so now. Uh, set that alarm, get those alerts, hit like and share. And uh, we'll come right back next year and give it all to you all over again. Thank you for all your support. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. It's your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media. Boom, Brawler Sports Media, and we are out. Till next year. Let's go, champs. Brawlers, baby. Brawlers, baby. Brawlers, baby. Brawlers, baby. Brawlers, baby. Brawlers, baby.